Ferguson. Craig Ferguson. You have fulfilled your contractual obligation. <laughs> you now no longer have to laugh at anything I say. <laughs> Why do you point at them to make them laugh? The, the, the warm-up comedian, like, if I don't know if people are genuinely laughing anymore. He just sort of points at them, oh, laugh, laugh. They're like, ah, ah, ah. When he points at me, I laugh. <laughs> It's a magical power. If you want to be a warm-up comedian in a damp basement in Hollywood, you have to have the magical power of pointing at people and scaring them into laughter. <laughs> also, I have to say, in an audience which is, I, I will be honest, you are terrific and very enthusiastic, my eye always, is always drawn to the one guy who's going... Like, even when people were clapping, he was like... <laughs> I'm like, whoa, man! You're freaking me out! <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, indeed it is. It is. It's a great day for uh, Vladimir Putin. Uh, who uh, won yesterday's Russian presidential election. He received a whopping 325% of the vote. <laughs> the big story, though, is during his victory speech, he cried. <laughs> he cried! Yes, old hard-ass Putin cried! Ruthless autocrats have feelings, too, you know. Do we have a picture of Putin crying? There he is. <laughs> I had to kill so many people. <laughs> you know, the picture it doesn't really get the full effect of his, his tears and his, his emotion, though. What you need to do is, what we do here when you need to get tears and emotion, you add music and a couple of ferrets. <laughs> do we have a picture of Putin crying with music and a couple of ferrets? That's enough. I, I, you want me to show it again? <laughs> I was trying to wait until the last ferret was squeezed out of the frame. I figured we'd better carry on. Anyway, a lot of uh, Russians think the elections were fixed. And I'm not surprised. You've got to fix the elections in Russia. It's too cold to go outside and vote. I don't know why it's called fixing the election. That implies that an honest election is broken. It's the same thing when, when you start fixing your pets. Their genitals were working perfectly fine. <laughs> before you repaired them. <laughs> I'm talking to you, Bob Barker. <laughs> no, you must spay new to your pets. You must. <laughs> anyway, look, fixing the Russian elections has been going on forever. I believe it was lovable Russian dictator old Uncle Joe Stalin who said... <laughs> He said, it's not who votes that counts, it's who counts the vote. That's what he said. That was his joke. He was like, it's not who, it's who counts the vote. Ah, you see what I did there? I turned it around. I turned it around. Laugh or I'll kill you. I'm going to kill you anyway. Laugh. Maybe he had the magical power of pointing and making people laugh. He probably did. Laugh or I'll kill you. <laughs> 
Anyway, the aftermath of the Russian election makes you really appreciate our election process here in America. We all know that when we cast our votes in a few months, they will be counted fairly, and in the end, this country will have a new American idol. <laughs> Who we can, who we can all forget in about two weeks. Now, Vladimir Putin, anyway, he, he used to be the president, then he was the prime minister for a couple of years, now he's been back to the, being the president. He's gone back and forth so many times, he's like, he's like uh, Bill Clinton bouncing between the buffet and the pole at a strip club. He's like... <laughs> Gotta eat. <laughs> Gotta eat. <laughs> I also like Putin. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, Putin's third term. So if he does one more, he qualifies for a free haircut at Fantastic Sam's. But Quality. Uh, <laughs> laugh or I kill you. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, Russia has very strict term limits. No president is allowed to serve more than about 1,000 years. Now, uh, immediately, <laughs> immediately after the results were announced yesterday, widespread protests took place all across Moscow. The, the city was overrun by angry, belligerent drunks. Then the protesters turned up and things went <laughs> crazy. But, you know, Putin has clearly heard his critics, though, because today he appointed a guy to investigate the elections. And the guy's name, I'm not making this up, this is true, his name is Vladimir the Magician Churov. <laughs> That's his name. Vladimir the Magician Churov. 200,000 ballots are missing. Are they behind your ear? Perhaps? Pay no attention to the chicken in my trousers. I find amazing about the Russian politicians, they're just as corrupt and dirty and drunk as our politicians, but not one of them has tweeted a photograph of his junk yet. <laughs> Come on, Russians! I thought you were democratic now! <laughs> right, Jeff? Right. Right. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Yeah. Laugh or... Uh, oh, no. Uh, uh, uh. I was going to say laugh or I kill you, but it's kind of pointless, isn't it? Yeah, you also had my balls removed. No, I did not. I had you fixed. <laughs> and I'm much better now. Yeah, that's right. Care to, uh... I'd love to. Come on, then. Tonight's program is brought to you by Uncle Joe Stalin's Iron Curtains. Revolutionize your windows and add a little cult of personality to your home today. <laughs> Get that glittery ball. You know, it looks pretty good there. They're a good deal. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, 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 uh. Seventeen ninety nine. Yeah, they, they throw in the tape for free. Uh, well, Studio Fifty Four. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's like Jay Leno as a fly. I'll be back in uh, eight months. Uh, <laughs> can never get rid of him, can you? <laughs>